plant-based potluck in Winnipeg and we're lucky to be able to talk to some of the people that are coming out here to enjoy the food. And one of the reasons I started this channel was to be able to spread the, the news to people, to a wider audience from regular people, not necessarily doctors, but just to hear their stories and find out their plant-based journey. So with us today we have Laura. Welcome. Thank you very much Thank for Thank you. To Thanks us. for having me. So uh, it's going to be very easy questions. It's uh, things like, uh, how long have you been plant-based? I have been plant-based. It'll be almost two years uh, in the fall. I don't have a vegan anniversary because I don't remember when's the last time I had animal products. But I feel it was around September, October, so it'll be two years coming up. Oh, two years. Did you find the time went fast? It did. Yeah? It did. did um, what is one of the things that you found that has improved in your in your life since you become plant-based what hasn't improved my health of course number one uh, my energy level my mood my emotions i used to suffer from anxiety and depression mm -hmm. and i feel much better i had migraines with aura i had to have a ct scan because i couldn't see when i would have my migraines and those all stopped. Can I you explain what an aura is? What is that? It, what it is is you get a migraine. Uh, it's more pressure than it is pain. And I would get um, visual disturbances. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to pull over if I was driving, that sort of thing. And it, I would get flashing lights all over the place. And I would be sick for about two, three days afterwards. Wow. And, and I that's feel, yeah. all gone away? It's, it's, or I've, I've maybe had one or two since the two years. But big improvement. used to be at least one a week. Excellent. Yeah. That, that's a lot of. That's a long list. Yeah, and also my blood pressure was so high that I had to have a machine at home to document my yes. blood pressure. And uh, since then, it, everything has gone down. Blood pressure will go down very quickly. So if anybody who is on blood pressure medication, I would say do sure. that under go plant based under a doctor's supervision because everything will go down to normal very quickly. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it doesn't take long, like you said. No, it doesn't yeah, take long. A few days. What are some of the challenges you've had? Challenges. Um, at first, it was hard to get used to how to have discussions about being plant-based at work and with family. And then um, I would just find support online and with groups like this and just find different ways to have conversations about it. So maybe that was challenging at first because I was so excited about the information that I was finding out and I wanted to share it and I just wanted to shout it from the rooftop. And that's not always received well. Um, understandably, uh, I, I'm not sure that I understood that before I went plant-based. So. Uh, that might have been a challenge at first, but now I really enjoy uh, sharing uh, the good words, so to speak, when when people ask me. Okay. So I wait till they ask and then I share. Sometimes it's hard to contain your excitement. It is because it's everybody should know this information. Yeah. Um, one one personal question I really enjoy hearing people's answers: is What do you do if if or when you 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 miss the boat or you, you get off the wagon. How mm -hmm. do you get back on the wagon? How do you find uh, resources or energy or what do you do to get back, back on track? Well, what you don't do is something that I used to do was get really upset about it and almost feel like, well, it's out the window. Right. Um, and really tomorrow is just a new day and we all, that'll happen to all of us. And let's say we socialize sometimes and there's might be something that's not so compliant. Uh, maybe it's just a vegan junk food item, which I typically wouldn't eat, but I'll enjoy it. And I mean, that's life. You still have to socialize. And if socializing means going out to a restaurant that might not offer what I would typically eat, then that's fine. And tomorrow's a new day. Just start over. It's better than not starting over. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, what's one of your favorite meals? Oh, favorite meals. Oh, that's a good question. I really enjoy making a lot of, uh, about once or twice a week, I'll make a rice dish with just basic, very basic rice beans, salsa, um, lentils. I love to do uh, tomatoes, canned tomatoes with, with rice and beans and salsa, like more, more Mexican type, type dishes. And I just discovered tofu. Okay. That's something I didn't prepare before, and I'm really enjoying that too. And how do you prepare the tofu? I'll uh, make sure that it's uh, GMO, um, organic soy mm -hmm. tofu. And lately I've just been doing it in cubes with a little bit of the um, liquid smoke. Okay. And garlic powder and turmeric, or not turmeric, uh, paprika. And then I'll do it, I'll have it with rice or on sandwiches. Today we had it with tomato and lettuce, kind of like a BLT. And it was wonderful, breakfast sandwich that we yes. had today. So yeah, I'm just, start just starting to experiment a little bit more with that. 
Well, thank you so much for your time. I have one last question, though, that I'd like to ask is uh, where do you see yourself in this plant-based lifestyle moving forward in the future? So for my future, I see uh, myself sharing a lot more with others. I just completed the plant-based um, certificate mm -hmm. program with T. Colin Camel Nutrition Center. Congratulations. Thank you. I just finished it literally yesterday. So I'm super excited to share what I've learned. I'm going to go over the course again just to kind of refresh and, and learn a lot more. I want to uh, do some coaching. Can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, the course you yeah, took? Yeah, the course, it's an online course through e Cornell University. And you just log on. It's open 24 hours, so you log on whenever it's convenient for you. It takes about six weeks. It's three two-week courses, and you do it consecutively. You have to do it all six weeks in a row. You dedicate about 10 hours per two weeks. So it's not really a huge dedication. I mean, it's a dedication, but not... It's. I mean, if you're working full-time, it's totally doable. Mm -hmm. And you learn... Everything to do with plant-based living, environment, uh, social issues, uh, heart reversing disease, you name it, everything comes up in the course. So it's you've wonderful. you've expanded your, your knowledge I have. tenfold? I have. Oh, okay, good. So I can't wait to share that now in the future and maybe do some clinics and workshops yes. and uh, possibly some coaching. Wow. Well, thank you very much, Laura. I appreciate the time you took with us today. Thank you, Claude.